Hi, I'm Sean from Bedtime Beds and I'm going to show you how to put a staircase bunk bed together. The bed can be assembled for left or right hand steps and I'll tell you at which point this becomes relevant. We're going to start by assembling the headboards. The bottom bunk uses two number three legs and two number twos. The top bunk has a 15 and a 16 and a 15A and a 17. We're going to start with the bottom bunk using the legs numbered 2 and 3. So this is how a headboard for the bottom bunk should look. This is a number 3 leg, a number 2 leg. It should have this button on it, and it should all face that way, that way up. And this is the main thing to look for, that you've got three holes facing upwards, not two, which is on the other side. So that's how it goes. Firstly, you need to fit the dowels. There's four dowels in each headboard. They look like that. Place them into the, the upper holes and tap them in lightly with a hammer. You will also then need two of these bolts, which go with these nuts, and then two of these, which are more like a wood screw type fixing. And you'll need the Allen key. So once you put the dowels in, you just simply slide the leg on. You may need a little bit of a tap just to push it on. Then you're going to need the wood screw type fixing goes in the end. No nut, it just screws straight in like that. The lower one has a thread which screws into the nut. Slide it into there, push the nut. Now you must make sure that the nut sits in properly. See that, that has gone completely in. Then just wind that in by hand. Then you need to take the Allen key and just do them up. I usually wind them in by hand. And then fully tighten them. Don't over tighten them because all you're going to do is bury the head of that into the leg and damage it. Repeat on the other side. So I've now assembled both headboards for the lower bunk. Now we're going to move on to the top bunk. I'm going to assemble the headboard for the end without the opening to start off with. Put the, the four dowels in, same as before and you've got legs numbered 15 and 16 and they should be facing with these holes up and three holes on each one of them facing up not like that so assemble the headboard for the top bunk in exactly the same way as you did for the lower bunk so we've now got three headboards these two are for the bottom bunk with the batten attached and this one is for the top bunk Notice no bat. So now we're going to assemble the headboard for the top bunk with the opening for where you come up the staircase. So we've got a number 15A and a number 17 leg. So if you place them like that with the sets of three holes, three, six, nine holes there, the same on that leg. And most importantly, notice that there's no hole there, whereas on this leg there is to take the dowel of that. Now I've put the dowels into these. So we put the dowel in the top holes on this side, both holes, and leaving the middle hole free, and on this one, the top hole, and both holes again. This is going to slide together exactly as it is, and then use the same fixings as before. fixings you need for this. In this hole here it's a bolt with a nut. The bottom one is a screw thread type one, so no nut on it. And I move to the other end. Screw thread type, no nut. Straight into there. This one is a bolt with the horseshoe type nut. And the very top one is a screw thread, no nut again. Put them all in, tighten them up, but don't over tighten them. So we've now got all four headboards. This is obviously the headboard with the opening for the top bunk. Put that together with the other one for the top bunk, leave them there. So we're now going to assemble the lower bunk bed. You need two of these side rails. All four of these are exactly the same, but just take two of them, and you need to put four dowels in, in the centre hole, and just tap them into place at both ends. You will need eight bolts and eight horseshoe nuts. Take a headboard for the lower bunk, and one side round, 
and place the dowel into the middle hole. Just wiggle it a little bit and it will go in. So put the bolt in from the outside, push your nut onto the inside of the side rail, make sure it sits into the hole properly and you can just twiddle it up with your fingers to get it started. Repeat on the lower hole and just tighten. So this is the lower bunk now fully assembled and then next I'm going to fit the headboard cover strips. This is the first time that we need to decide whether we want left or right steps. I'm actually going to assemble this one with right hand steps. So this is the front of the bed, steps are going to go on this end on the right. The first thing you need to look at is these two cover strips. They've got, they're different from the other ones because they've got these big holes. These are to let the dowels go through to locate the top bunk. If you put these two together, you will see one is very slightly narrower than the other. You want the narrow one. Now the narrow one, if you look at it, it's slightly offset. It is trimmed off one side. So we want it on there with the trim side off, which is squarer. This side is rounded, this side is a square cut. It goes on that way, and it's like that, so when the staircase goes on this side, it doesn't butt up against the rounded edge. So the standard headboard cover strip just sits on like that. So you need the four large dowels. These go through these holes and just push into that top of that leg. Push them right down. And then try and center up the hole on this cover strip so it's in the middle of the dowel. You then need eight of these screws which are in your pack and just screw this cover down through these holes and fix it in place. When these are all screwed down you take these little wooden plugs which are painted white, place them into the holes and just gently tap them down. It's not a bad idea to either have a piece of wood on top of there so you don't hit directly onto it or maybe a thick piece of cardboard and just tap them down gently until they go flush. So now we're going to assemble the top bunk we take the side rails, as we did before, and we'll put the four dowels into the centre hole and just tap them in with a hammer. So, as I said before, we're going to assemble this bed with steps at right. This is how you would lay it out for steps at so right. So this is how you would set it up for left-hand stairs. If you notice, on this headboard, these holes are still on the inside of the bed. So nothing changed there. On this one, however, these holes now are on the outside, so we need to cover them up. With the bed comes these plastic covers. So you need to undo that bolt, and that just moves the nut in a little bit. The plastic cover will then pop in, and once you've got it in flush, just nip that bolt up again, and it'll hold it in place. So we're going to fix together the top bunk in exactly the same way as we did before. Um, but I always start by fixing the side rails to this end first. Don't fully tighten the bolts at the open headboard end at this stage. So the top bunk now is fully assembled, but quite importantly, I haven't done this up, so there's quite a bit of play on this end. The other end is fully tightened. This bit of play will let you get the side rails in. We're going to start by fixing the R2 side rails, which are the middle ones. These are different because they've got the hole in them, and they fix using four of these bolts with these round dowel nuts. So we start 
by putting the dowels into these holes here, the outer two, on all of the legs. The R2 rail slide onto the end that's fixed solid, so it's on the dowels. Push the headboard away a little bit, then you can slide the dowels back in. If you've got the bolt in your hand, that's great because you can just slide it in there and it will stop it falling. Um, and again, we're going to put this nut in. Always put the the side with the screw um, slot in it, so you can get your finger in it to, to hold it in the right position. Just a couple of turns on it, just so it's held. Don't want to do anything up too tight at the moment. Then we'll put the same bolt in the other end, and again, there's no point in doing it up too tight. As long as it doesn't fall out, it doesn't matter. We're going to repeat on the other side of the bed, which this is on this bed going to be the back of the bed. Again, slide it on that end, pull the headboard away a little bit. So we're now going to fit the R1 rails, which are the top rails. Firstly, you need to notice that on one side of them, there's a little uh, centre mark. This needs to go on the outside of the bed, and it's for fitting the cover strips on that join all the three rails together. If you notice, I've fitted the dowels on the end of these, rather than in the legs. It just makes it easier. So, two in each end on the outer holes and just tap them in with a hammer. So we're going to fit the R1 round, as I said before, the centre mark is on the outside of the bed. Just get it like that and slide it in and wiggle it up and down a little bit with a bit of pressure so on. Then just pull the leg away, lower that round place and you can pull that in so they're all in on that side now. It's the threaded type wood screws that go in the top of this one in the middle hole. Place that in there, do both ends, and you can now tighten all of them up on this side because there's enough movement on this side to let you get that rail in. So we'll do these up first. We're going to fit the R1 rail to the back of the bed, centre hole again to the outside of the bed so it's on this side. Put these dowels in here, wiggle it in there. Should be able to pull that leg away, drop it into there so they're all in. Using the same wood screws into the centre hole, you can now fully tighten all of these bolts now on both headboards. So all side rails now are fully tightened. The next thing to do is to fit these strips. I don't actually want to fit them to the, this bed because I am just doing this for demonstration purpose. So if you're going to fit plaques to your bed, um, you don't want to fit this to the front of the bed. Still fit it to the back, but just leave it off the front. So, you take these 30mm screws which are in the pack, look for this centre hole again, and in the top hole, just locate that in the, in the dimple, and if you do that screw up, and then once that's tightened, make sure that this is straight, and then just screw into the other two screws to fix that in place, and it ties all three rails together, then repeat on the other side of the bed. So the next thing to do is to fit the cover strips to the top bunk. There's three parts to this. First you need to put dowels in the three holes. There's one on this end, tap that right in. And on this end there's two dowels. Tap them in and then the cover strips will locate in them dowels and it will show you the position they go in. So this is the cover strip for the top bunk this end. Um, locate it on the dowels and then obviously put the four screws in tap the white bungs in again like you did on the lower bunk. So the cover strip for the end with the opening goes with the rounded corners on this end, locate it on the dowel which is underneath there, three screws in there and then tap the wooden bungs in to tidy up the top of it. This one is slightly different. On the underside is a, a double sided sticky patch so you peel that off and just centre it up on there. So once that is stuck on centrally just place the screw in the middle as you did on the other cover strips and the little wooden plug and tap it in. So if you want to use these as single beds you simply remove the top two side rails um, 
and then you can buy from us a kit which gives you a full length cover, cover strip and a panel that fits in here to blank this off. The kit also includes blanking plugs for any holes that are visible. So the next thing to do is to fit the slats. You will have two of these blocks of wood in your component pack. If you start at one end, put the block of wood in both sides like that, drop the slat in and slide it up against the block and put the screw in either end. And so one thing you do need to check when you're fitting the slats is to make sure that the bed in the middle is exactly the same width as it is at the end. So I always drop one slat in so it makes sure that the distance is the same apart. And if the bed does happen to be bowing out a little bit, you may want to just fit one slat in the middle, anywhere in the middle, and push both sides together so it's nice and tight like that and just fix it temporary until you've brought the other slats up to it. So you fit all the slats to both beds um, and then when you've done that you can then lift the top bunk onto the bottom bunk. I'm not actually going to fit the slats because I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So you need someone else to help you at this point to lift the, the bed on top. Make sure that the top bunk is fully pulled down onto all four dowels. When you've done this, fit a screw into each of these holes to lock the two beds together. So now I'm going to show you how to assemble the staircase step unit, and this is one with storage steps. It goes together exactly the same as one without storage steps. Firstly, you need to take the four um, step parts. There's a wide one, there's two that are the same width, and then there's one, this one here, very slightly narrower than the steps. You take these plastic corner pieces and sometimes they'll just wiggle in like that and you place them into all of the holes in all of these components. So all the plastic parts are now tapped into place. Don't hit them too hard because they will shatter but just make sure they're pushed down fully. So next you need to take one of the um, staircase step sides, doesn't matter which one, you put the same plastic clips in, three of them, up the back edge. In fact, you might as well do that to both sides while you're there. I'm doing it on a bench, but it's equally as good just to lay on a carpet on a flat floor. But just tap them in into both sides and then lay one of them like this. Then we're going to take the steps, start off with the biggest step, drop it into that groove, slide it right to the front of the groove so it's flush at the back there. Make sure it is completely down in the bottom of the groove. Do not start putting the screws in and trying to use the plastic clips to pull this into the groove because you will just break the clips. So fit the screws into these blocks again making sure that it's still pushed into the bottom of that groove. So two screws in there, don't over tighten them um, and then repeat on the other three pieces. Um, this bottom groove here is where the narrowest one goes. So now all of these are fixed in place, um, just to note that if you haven't bought storage steps, it's slightly different, you obviously won't have the drawer runners in there, and what you will have is a panel very similar to that, that will fix across there, and across there, and across here, in exactly the same way that these are fitted. So I've now fitted the plastic blocks to the other side, they've been tapped in with a hammer. So now we just pick that up, and carefully, Lay it on top of the other step here, innit? And you just wiggle it around until it all settles in. There's no need to hit it. You're just gentle with it. Just slowly work your way around, they'll all drop into place. That's it. Every one of them is now located. If you take a careful look at the plastic blocks, if the plastic blocks are fitting flush against the side, 
you know it's fully located. And as I said before, do not try using the plastic locks and the screws to pull it together. It will just sit on like that one. So once you've screwed it all together, just stand it upright and you're now ready to assemble the back panel for the step unit. The back panel is actually in two parts, although it doesn't look like it in this picture. It joins together using this strip. So if you look, there are drill marks there, there and there, which line up with the holes in this strip. So if you lay it down like that, now the bottom one, if you look, it's got two little holes there. They need to be at the bottom. So I've screwed the cover strip on, which now makes that as one panel. This assembles exactly the same way whether it's left or right hand steps. The only difference is that if this is going on the steps left hand, this piece will be showing on the back of the bed, and if it's right hand, this bit will be hidden inside the step unit. So now I'm going to fit this back panel to the back of the step unit. The cutout here needs to be on this side, because it's going to miss this cover strip here when it slides onto the bed. Um, if you noticed earlier, on the back panel, there are six holes, very small holes, that are drilled right the way through the panel. This is so you can see where it locates, whether the panel's on for left or right-handed back. So I've just lifted that up against the back of the step unit, and I'm now going to, through the plastic brackets, screw the back panel to the step unit. So the back panel is fully screwed onto the step unit, and I've slid the step unit up against the side of the bed. Um, so it's now touching flush against the leg here. There are six holes down this back edge, and that's how you attach the step unit to the bed. You use 30mm screws with screw caps and just screw literally into the back of that. These are the screws to fit the handrail. I'm going to fit the handrail. Um, I normally start by putting one of the bolts into that hole. Um, just line it up with the hole that's already there. It doesn't matter that you're not holding the handrail in the exact position. Just get the screw started. And then just repeat on all four screws until the handrail is fixed. So there's an L bracket that fits here at the top of the handrail. Um, you need two bolts, two nuts and obviously the L bracket and just fix it there in the pre mark position. These are the components you will need to make one drawer. There's a left side, a right side, that's the back panel. If you notice that the plastic clips are on the side that hasn't got the groove in it. And obviously the front of the drawer and the drawer base. I've already fitted the plastic brackets to these. So you'll need eight 25mm countersunk screws. You start off by taking one side, put it into the groove, make sure it's sitting in there nicely. Then you set the drawer base, slide it down that side, and then make sure it drops into the front like that. So now it's in both grooves. Take the other end, that's it, it's dropped into all the grooves then put the screws into those four plastic brackets. So I've now put the four screws on the inside. Um, as before, don't use the plastic brackets to pull everything into the groove. Just make sure everything's located before you start screwing things up. Now you put the back panel in the drawer. So just start on one side, um, jiggle it in so it goes into that groove, drop it down. It's now located on the base. Push it over, so that's, that's, in, that's into all the grooves, and then fix all four screws to the back. So now we have one drawer assembled, just repeat exactly the same on the other two, and that should go straight into the step unit. So the last thing you need to do is just cover these holes up. Um, and on the other side you've got these mushroom shaped white covers um, so you just literally push them in and then they will need just a little tap with a hammer just to make them go flush. I hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching. So if you're going to fit plaques to your bed um, you don't want to fit this to the front of the bed. Still fit it to the back, but just leave it off the front bed. This is what you would have received for each plaque. So you put the bolts through this bracket like that, 
the bracket then fits between the top two rails and the plaque has fixings on the back of it. So you just line that up like that, the bolts, and literally screw them into it and tighten it up. Um, all you need to do is just decide where you want them. You can position them however. Um, most people put one in the middle and then equally space the others. So this is a cot side that can be fitted to this bed. This is actually the longer one, which is 140 centimetres. We do one in 90 as well. Um, and literally all it does, it's got three screw holes there on each leg and you drop it in on the inside of the side rail and slide it out to that end and then screw into the back of the side rail with it to fix it in place. You can position this wherever you like, so you can go in the middle if you like or at the other end um, and when it's removed um, the only marks are on the inside of the side rail so they're never seen. If you've ordered a gate, um, we don't pre-mark the holes on the bed because you can have it hinged on either side. Um, so it just fits by sliding it up there level with the front and the two fixings in on the back screw into the handrail. If you want to fix it the other way, um, you obviously just screw it into the bed leg um, with the same two fixings on the back. So once you've decided which side your gate is going to be hung on, uh, you need to fit this bolt. Um, now this can be fitted anywhere down there, if you want to put it right at the bottom to stop your child leaning over and open it, that's fine. Um, don't go too low because you need to be able to fit this block, which is normally in white, which gets fitted on there and it acts as a stop and the bolt then locates in that hole there to hold the gate shut. So you've decided what height you're going to fit the lock. Now you need to just move it in from the edge. So use the block, this one is waxed where it's going to be white on your one, um, and just place it as I have here to show you how far in the bolt needs to be fixed in from the edge. 